Good evening, you're watching Government Funded News. I'm Chippo Critical. Of course, the biggest story this week continues to be the response by the government and opposition parties to the reports of Chinese state interference in our most recent federal elections, which attempted to keep Trudeau and the Liberals in power. These reports come from documents leaked by CSIS, Canada's intelligence agency, to journalists, which go into some detail about the candidates selected by Beijing and how the interference was orchestrated. Naturally, Prime Minister Trudeau was swift to condemn the whistleblowing and saying that he hopes CSIS takes this issue very seriously. Guys, I think there's a mistake in the prompter. Um, he should be condemning the election interference, right? Not the whistleblowing? <laughs> what? But that's like firing a pest control guy for telling you there are termites. Uh, which we've done here at GoFU News, and it's worked out pretty great for us. We actually have a deal with the termites. <laughs> Testifying before a parliamentary committee on Wednesday, National Security Advisor Jody Thomas mirrored the Prime Minister's sentiments on the unauthorized release of confidential information. In some cases, publicly disclosing intelligence on foreign states' specific attempts to interfere may ultimately play into their hands, including by potentially affecting outcomes of electoral processes and creating confusion. Clearly, CSIS should have gone directly to the government or parties being interfered with and allowed them to address the situation before leaking information publicly. Oh, they did do that. Well, what did the Liberals say? Oh. Before the 2019 federal election nomination deadline, national security officials urged Trudeau's team to rescind the candidacy of one of his nominees, saying that Chinese international students were bussed into the riding and coerced to vote in the manner of Beijing's choosing. The candidate, now a member of parliament, is Don Hang. D Dan Hong. Hang Don. Hand, what is it? Han Dong, one of at least 11 Toronto area candidates allegedly supported by Beijing in the 2019 contest. Dong has denied these allegations and been supported by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Here's the Prime Minister dodging, I mean answering questions regarding what he knew prior to the 2019 election. Please disperse. Nothing to see here, please. Hey, I thought we fired you. If the Liberal Party government was warned prior to the 2021 election, why did the Liberal Party allow him to run? Let me start by being very, very clear. There are 1.7 million Canadians who proudly trace their origins back. should always be welcomed as full Canadians and encouraged to stand for office, to get it. That's one of the great things about this country. Let me say that we are extraordinarily lucky and happy to have a member of parliament like Han Dong uh, in our, his community, serving our country alongside Chinese Canadian MPs from different parts of the country, alongside an extraordinary- Prime Minister, uh just a follow up on that question on CSIS and Han Dong. Are you saying that they didn't warn you or were you warned and you chose to dismiss it for those reasons? Uh, just wanted some clarification. Once again, one of the things we've seen, unfortunately, over the past years is a rise um, in uh, anti-Asian racism. So what we know is asking questions about this is racist, uh, even though China's a country and Chinese isn't a race. But we can get around that by saying anti-Asian racism. I know other Asian countries aren't reportedly doing this, okay? Come on, calling people racist is kind of the liberals thing, so. Actually, it's kind of ours too. In other news, the much-awaited report of the public inquiry into the use of the Emergencies Act by the Trudeau government last year was recently released and found the high threshold for use of the act was met. Does it matter at all that the RCMP said that they cleared the border blockades without using the Emergencies Act powers? Apparently not. And what about what Trudeau said about the Indian farmer protests and de-escalating with dialogue? Hey, shut up, and action! Uh, here's a clip of a Liberal MP telling us why it's completely unreasonable for anyone to have concerns about vaccines or mandating them. Why is there much more redactions, as my colleague said, in these documents than in other documents? It's because these documents were signed at the beginning of a pandemic, when everybody was desperate for vaccines, when companies were being told to rush 
vaccine production, do testing in an unprecedented way, in a way they normally don't do it. So these companies were exposed to way higher liability, putting their products on the market than they normally would because they didn't do the type of testing that normally takes these drugs years to come to market. They did it all in less than a year. So that's why these companies said, if I'm going to deliver you this product that I haven't tested in my normal way, I, I want to have different conditions. Uh, yes, only a fringe conspiracy theorist with unacceptable views could have any concerns after hearing all that. The singer at the NBA All-Star Game sang the wrong words while singing the Canadian National Anthem. Come on guys, really this is news? I mean, she made a mistake. It's kind of mean to point it out, right? I try to be forgiving for live performances. Well, that's all the time we have. Thanks for watching Go FU News. And remember, if you question Chinese interference in our elections, you're a racist Trump supporter. Good night.